Meanwhile, San Francisco just unveiled its plans for a massive eight-day Super Bowl bash. But there's a problem. What to do with all the people who already live on the streets of Super Bowl City? KPI X5's Phil Matier put that question to the city today. Phil? That's right, Ken. When the world is watching San Francisco in the Super Bowl, what the city wants to show is a scene like this behind me, the fun of a bocce ball court. What they don't want you to see is what's in front of that fun lying on the ground, and they're already starting to make moves to move them. This is the Super Bowl city that boosters want the world to see. Market Street and Justin Herman Plaza bursting with fun. But on most days, a walk through Justin Herman Plaza gives a decidedly different picture. I get it. I mean, I get it every day. People tell me what they don't like and what they're concerned about. And that may be one reason why that before the big Super Bowl unveiling, the cops did what they're doing more and more often in the area these days. They said they're going to have a doings here and everything. So all of us had to move. So we all went over here along the way where the trees were at. Yeah. And some of us stepped along the side of what do you do? Leave. Then what do you do? Go sit somewhere else, get told to leave again. Same thing every day. Police we talked with off camera tell us the move on policy is pretty much the drill, even when it's on the steps of City Hall. When uh, there's big events, a lot of times homeless people get the short end of the stick. Still, openly harassing the homeless would be political dynamite in liberal San Francisco, and Mayor Ed Lee knows it. Uh, we have less than a year on, on the clock uh, to have the area of Embarcadero to be uh, available for everybody to come in. No one is talking publicly, but a hint of the mayor's plan may be found at what happened at 5th and Bryant, where after moving an encampment to the city's new homeless center, the city then quietly put up barricades to keep the homeless out. So are we not going to allow them to hang out and, and sleep? down in the Justin Herman Plaza area like they've been doing? Well, I, I think for the, the benefit of the thousands of people, there won't be any room, Phil, to be quite candid with you. There won't be any room for anybody. And that's another tactic they're using, even here at Justin Herman Plaza. You see the people? They're starting to come in for the night. But the idea is to keep it hopping at least long enough until the tourists leave. They don't see it. In San Francisco, Phil Matier. KPI X5. A Super Bowl city will be up and running for eight days leading up to the Super Bowl, the big game. More than a million people are expected to stop by.